Karishma, and today I'm excited to announce LaunchDorkly's newest product, AI Configs, to help engineering teams build and release their Gen AI features with the tools that they need to do it quickly and safely. Over the past year, we've heard from our customers the unique challenges that building with AI introduces. First, the non-deterministic nature of models, which can introduce a risk to the end user experience, which requires engineering teams to have a way to instantly roll back to a stable state in case something goes wrong. And secondly, new models are being released at a rapid pace and iterating on prompts by constantly updating them in code and redeploying to test them can be high friction, not the most friendly for collaboration with non-technical users on your team, and finally, just a bit archaic given the number of prompt and model configurations you can quickly rack up. That's why our team at LaunchDarkly built AI configs, a way for engineering teams to accelerate AI releases by managing prompt and model configurations at runtime, choose to release different configurations to different audiences, monitor their key metrics related to AI consumption, and roll back or even turn off the feature completely in case something goes wrong. So let's take a look at the product. As a user, when I go into the LaunchDarkly application, I now see the option to create an AI config. In this example, I'm building an AI-powered agent to help customers troubleshoot their most common auto questions. This then lands me on a page where I can create and manage multiple versions of my prompt and model configurations for the feature that I'm building. It's so helpful to be able to select my model from a list of drop-down options and know that I can also create my own model configuration. For now, I'll just go with the latest GPT-40. Next, I type in my system prompt and LaunchDarkly automatically renders the markdown in a way that's easy for me to read and tweak if needed. For now, I'm just gonna save this and also maybe create a second prompt with a different model and tweak the prompt slightly to have a friendlier tone. Now that I have these two versions created, it's time for me to release it to my users. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and do a 50-50 split to see which one performs better. And just like that, my auto resolution chatbot is now live in production and helping users. Since this was my first Gen AI feature, I'm understandably a little nervous, which is why it's really cool that I can monitor the critical metrics directly within LaunchDarkly, thanks to the native metric support for SDKs like Python and Node.js. Thanks to LaunchDarkly, I was able to build, manage, and roll out my first Gen AI feature in less than an hour and de-risk every aspect of its release. I hope you've enjoyed this demo. I can't wait for your teams to try it out and let us know what you think. Thanks. Thank you.